packing up their stuff. I think it would be good for us to head off to the library. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I grabbed, this is my little pile. This is Cam's pile, Kendall's pile, Savannah's pile. There's a few more things I have to stuff in there, but they're just basically gonna stuff these in their book bags and we're gonna head to the library. Your friend knows she has quite a bit of things to accomplish and so I don't wanna get distracted. So the best thing, plus Mondays is supposed to be my library days and I just, I don't go over there like I should, um, but I should. So I'm just gonna pack up their stuff and we're gonna head over there. And when we come back, I think we'll come back for lunchtime. Brian is working at home today, so he may bring us lunch. Um, if he brings us lunch, then we won't come back until after school is over for the day. If he does not, then we'll head back um, for lunch and then go back over. So we'll see how it goes. What? <laughs> what are we gonna do? As crazy as it sounds, we have to have hope. Hope? Hope for what? They decided they wanted to grab their VeggieTales Bible, You'll so mm -hmm. they're reading them together. Remember Easter pass? Yeah, it was empty. Not even a jelly bean. That was the point. Just like the tomb in the Easter system. Is he gonna be okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm packing up their stuff so we can head off to the library. I figured I'll just go ahead and show you what I am bringing along with us. There are pencil boxes which have highlighters and glue sticks and erasers and pencils, of course. So each one of their pencil boxes goes. Um, each one of their quiet reading time books goes and Savannah does not have a quiet reading time book So we need to get her a new one while we're at the library their language arts notebook because it is our language arts um, Block today, so I have each one of their notebooks each one of their iPads and their binders So that's it inside of my bag that I take with us. I've got these two grammar books just in case I have my language arts and literature uh, level three from the good and the beautiful now I don't need to bring this at all because we use them on the iPad but I just use this as my teacher manual while they have their iPads open so I don't have to bring it um, which is why I didn't bring level four um, because we'll just do it on the iPad but I just bring this one just in case um, I have my planners then I have level one for Savannah um, what else is in here I've also got our read aloud. We're almost finished with that one. And I have our devotion. I grabbed their book bags here. They are currently clearing off the table from doing writing for morning work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff their book bags for them so we can put on our shoes and our coats and head out the door. I also grabbed apple letters to throw in Savannah's book bag. I'm hungry, don't say I'm hungry. Don't Hi, Hungry. I'm oh, Mommy. I told you not to say that! <laughs> okay, so I almost have them out of the door. Savannah is being quite a bit wanky today, so um, I am bringing her normal things along with us. I thought it might be a good idea to also bring along these. So these are just some modeling clay. Modeling clay is really nice because even though Play-Doh gives you that kind of stress relief, um, modeling clay is even tougher. So um, since she's nice and whiny, it'll give her something to get her aggression or whatever pent up emotions and feelings she's got going on. So I'm just gonna throw that in either my book bag or her book bag and we're gonna get out of here. This two second walk is taking us 18 hours, you guys. 18 hours? 18 hours, it's taking us 18 hours. Go ahead. So we haven't been over to the library to do our schoolwork in a while and it shows. So it's taking us a little longer to get our things in order. And that. Okay, so they're getting out their binders and their pencil boxes. And we're going to get started with some binder work and some devotions. Um, once I get them going on their independent work, Savannah and I will head over to find her a new quiet reading time book. So that's what we're going to get into first. So first I'm starting with this word family activity. So she has little clouds and she has to attach them to the little raindrops that belong to the word family. It's really cute. If I can figure out where I got them from, it was quite a few years ago. So we'll see. So she's going to work on that while I get the boys started. So Savannah just took a walk around the library so she can start to focus. You ready? 
Okay, she's gonna take another walk around. Go ahead, one more. These are the type of things you gotta do just to make sure they're nice and focused. Ready? All right. She's back. What is a noun? A noun is a word for a person, place, and thing. Thank you. Is the word girl a person, place, or thing? Person. Good. Is the word book a person, place, or thing? A thing. Good girl. Is the word kitchen a person, place, or thing? Pers place. Good job. Yes. Take out her dry erase. This is our like our on the go, our on the go board, right? Okay. And you're gonna use Expo marker. So I'm going to write person, place, or thing, and you're gonna help me make a list of nouns. Noun. Thing. How are you doing? Good. All right. So, what is your question? The very first thing you want to make sure you do is that. What is it? Okay. Nice. Girl is a person, kitchen is a place, and book is a thing. Let's add to our list. What's another noun that is a person? Boy. <gasps> That's it. What is another noun that is a place? Where are we? Library. Library. <laughs> a couple hours into our school day and she's finally starting to focus. Very good. Thank you. While they are um, working over here, I went to the discarded section and I've been working my way through some of their books. So, doesn't mean I'm going to get them, but I just pick out the ones that look, you know, like I might give them a try. Flat Stanley. Anybody know about these? Anybody like them? I'm not sure. But for 25 cents, it's worth um, flipping through to see Mommy, how I feel about it. You already have that. I know, but I could give it to somebody else. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now make it smaller so I can keep reading. Okay. The painting was created by an artist named Edward Hicks. He lived in Pennsylvania. Find Pennsylvania on the map below. You already did that. He lived over 230 years ago. I'm going to ask you the question again, Mama, okay? It says, mm -hmm. um, why do you think that the artist painted dark clouds in the sky? Because mm -hmm. God put a storm and it was about to rain. So he said at the end, we'll never do it again. And he put a rainbow. But the cute part is she said, Daddy put it in the sky. And she was like, I, I didn't mean Daddy, I meant God. But then she said, but actually, God is our Daddy. Isn't yeah. that what she said? <laughs> God is our Daddy. We have two Daddies. Okay, let's get back to work. Are you focused? Let's show him not focused. Focused. Not focused. <laughs> focused. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a good one. <laughs>